We need to update this guy. We knew from our previous diagram that this top one was pushing over at 958.3. All right, we knew that this one is pointing up and to the left at 1096. Uh, All right, this is the only one that we don't know. Step one, what do we always do when we get here? We break everything down into xy. All right. Now again, this one here is not the same as this guy up here. You have to keep those separate. All right. This one we already broke down earlier. Okay, and as I recall, it was 775 and 775. Okay, and it's going up and to the left. I can tell because that's what the arrow over here is telling me to go. This is going up and to the left. So there's my up and there's my left. All right, and then uh, this one's been broken down. We don't know what this is yet but we'll, we'll find it out, okay? So we've broken everything down. Um, we filled in all the information. So the, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with Y again, just because I like to start with Y. So the sum of all the Y's forces in the Y direction equals zero. Well, Y is up and down, so what do we have? We have up at 775, okay, which is gonna be positive. So this is going up at 775, so it's positive 775. Plus, all right, we have a 500 going down, so this is going to be plus a negative 500. And then what else do we have? This is the last one. Okay, so this is going to be E, and this is point B down here that it's connecting to, so line segment um, EB, all right, and the, in the Y direction, plus... E, B in the Y direction equals zero. Well, this is the only unknown that we have. We can solve it, all right? So 275, or excuse me, 775 plus a negative 500, or you're just subtracting 500, you're left with 275 plus E, B in the Y equals zero. Well, subtract 275 from both sides. E, B in the Y direction equals negative 275. So it's pointing down with a force of 275. Down with 275. Okay. Well, if this is going down, what's the sense of this? It's going down and to the left. So I know that this guy here has to be going to the left. Okay. And we're going to run into um, this problem here. This one right here, this, uh, this EB in the X direction, we actually don't even have to use a triangle to solve it, all right, because it's the only unknown that we have left, and I'll show you what I mean. The sum of all the forces in the X direction equals zero. Well, what are all my forces in the X direction? We have this one here, 775, it's a negative, negative 775, plus a positive 958.3, 958.3. What's the only force left? It's this one right here, this EB, EB in the X direction. All three of those added together have to equal zero, okay? So let's just simplify this guy right here. So negative 775 plus 958.3 equals, I have 183.7, so 183.7, okay, plus EB in the x direction equals zero. Well, subtract 183.7, EB in the x direction equals 183.7. So this is, it should be pointing to the left, and look, it is. We already knew it was going to be a negative number, negative 183.7, okay? Can we check this? Sure. All right, we have, uh, we have this angle, 56.3 right here, all right, 56.3. And we also have the adjacent and the opposite. So I can come back here and I can actually check to make sure that these numbers all match up. 
So I have adjacent and opposite and this angle here, so I'm going to use tangent. All right, so the tangent of theta equals um, opposite, which is 275, divided by adjacent, 183.7, okay? Should equal the tangent of theta, all right? Well, let's just uh, find out if we got it right. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo the tangent function uh, to, we're going to undo the tangent function to get theta all by itself. So we're going to do um, the negative tangent, tangent, the inverse function of tangent to both. Okay, and what do we get? Well, let's check it out. If we do this right, we should get 56.3 or close to it. So I'm going to do the inverse tangent of 275 divided by 183.7. Fifty-six point two five. Okay, fifty-six point. What is it? Fifty-six point three. So yeah, we're we're right on. We're right on spot. We just double checked our work. All right, little rounding, uh, but close enough. Okay. So, is this guy done? Not yet. We still have to solve for this guy. I'm just going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared two seventy five squared plus one eighty three point seven squared. Okay, that's C squared. Now we're going to undo the square and just get C by itself. Answer. So we get 330, well, 331. 331, okay? So that's that guy right there. Now we're going to take this information and update our free body diagram. Well, what, what information did we not have before? Well, we pretty much had all of it. The only thing we're missing was this one right here, which is this right here. So this is uh, going to be 3... 31, we said that, right? 331, and it's going to be in tension. So, all right, we're going to do that. We updated the arrows here, and we're good to go. Now, we go down here, how many unknowns do we have? We have zero unknowns, but it's always good to come down to the last one to double check and make sure that your work is right. I mean, as of right now, we're done. Okay, you could stop now, but we want to double check and make sure that everything checks out at this last place. All right, so we're going to go to our final free body diagram, and I'm just going to update everything. So we've got this information here that needs to be updated on here. All right, so this is 775. This is 975. This is 30. And this is 331. Okay, now remember, step one, break everything down. Oops, let me slide this up. Step one. Break all your angles down into x, y. So I'm going to break this down. I'm going to break this guy down here. Okay. All right. And we already broke all these down. I know that it's going. Um, uh, I know that this one is going down at 25, right? So down. I'm just going to down at 25, and I know it's going to the right. This one is going up and to the right. All right, this one, if we come back to this free body diagram here, it's the same numbers. It's going up at 275 and to the right at 183.7, okay? And this one right here was 16.7, okay? When we broke those triangles, if you break these vectors down, you get the same exact numbers, all right? I'm just going to assume that you know how to do that. So we're just down to the final problem. We should add all these up and it should equal zero or very close to zero. So the sum of all the forces in the x direction equals zero. The sum of all the forces in the y direction equals zero. I always like to start with y, so let's do that. So up and down. So up and down, uh, we're going to go with... I'll draw in my arrows here so you guys can see this positive, negative, positive, negative. This one's going up at 275, so positive 275. What do we got? A negative 25. All right, what else do we have? Anything else? Oh, right here, a negative plus a negative, oops, negative 250. Okay, that should equal zero. Well, 
let's let's see. 275 minus 25 minus 250. That just basically got rid of these plus negatives. Whenever you add a negative, it's the same thing as subtracting. So 275 minus 25. Well, that leaves me with 250. Subtract another 250. That leaves me with zero. So this checks out. So we're good. Now we need to check the x's. All right. I have 975 going that way. That's negative 975. All right. I have positive 775. All right. What about this one? It's going to the right. Positive 16.7. 16.7. And what about this one? It's going to the right, positive 183.7. And that should all equal zero if we did it right. So let's see, we got negative 975, all right, negative 975. And then we are going to add 775. We're going to add 16.7. We're going to add. 183.7, all right? And what do we get? We should get 0 .04, so we're off by a little bit. Um, and I think I know why. It's because of our rounding, okay? So we're, we're right on the nose. Uh, I probably rounded a number someplace that I shouldn't have, but it should be right, right on the spot with, uh, with zero, okay? So because of rounding someplace, I may have written a number wrong down, but this should equal zero, okay? And it, and it does check out, all right? So we, we would be good with that, okay? And now, if you jump back to here, you would see that you have completely solved this entire truss. Everything double-checked, checked out, with the exception of a little rounding uh, that might have thrown things off a little bit, but all in all, we, we should have been good to go, okay? So that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. You can uh, respond to this video, and I'll do my best to try and answer questions. Um, thank you.